howdy folks this video is going to be all about recording audio out in the field and I'm sure you're aware there are a lot of challenges recording audio uh, while you're outside number one is the wind um, where I fly there's pretty much always wind around that's my biggest problem uh, I'm also in a noisy environment we've got a construction site uh, over behind there we've got a major road there we've got a lot of reeds and uh, trees that create sound and we've got a train line right beside us here and the, the, the train goes past every now and then which is always amusing when I start talking I have a few different solutions that I've tried uh, and I'll go through each of them and, and demonstrate how it sounds with the well, what have we got we've got about up to 10 knots of wind at the moment I think reasonably light comes and goes but uh, it's enough to make the recordings annoying so number one and the most convenient one is my hat cam here this is a Mobius with the A lens which is a narrower lens so that I can uh, record planes flying a little bit closer up the Mobius has a very sensitive microphone which is great you can use it for recording audio conversation or voiceover but it's also very very sensitive to wind noise so what I have on my hat cam is, is the Mobius A and I've desoldered the microphone from internally, uh, run a little wire externally and encased the microphone in a, a wind muff uh, and I've got it at the moment under my hat here, uh, just trying out this new position. Another method I have is I have a, a little Mobius with the C lens, this is the one that I strap on the camera usually. Uh, I've got it set to just record audio because the video would be pointless and I have a just a windsock sort of muff over the Mobius and that just velcros onto a little mount on the uh, hanging from a tr transmitter strap here uh, so the windsock just sort of straps over the top there probably making a horrible noise that just velcros on there and that's useful for when, for when I'm not using my cap when I'm doing FPV I can still record some uh, narration while I'm going along. The, this one picks up a little bit more wind than this hat cam does I think. I'm recording this on an SJ cam and that does pick up a fair bit of wind noise. I'll turn around this way so we're pointing directly into the wind and you can probably hear the amount of wind noise that that uh, microphone picks up. Now I'll demonstrate what this sounds like with the muff off uh, and I'm sure you'll be aware because the wind has just picked up that that is very very windy and noisy and not ideal at all. Turn that off now and I'll turn there's the train going past. <laughs> Alright so now I have the Mobius with the raw microphone internal as it comes on top and the my uh, maybe it's A with the external microphone which hopefully should demonstrate that uh, there's a lot less wind noise and uh, a lot better uh, voice quality as well I hope. Alright here we go. <coughs> Planes up and away going nicely. <coughs> There's so much construction noise coming over from here because it's a northerly wind and that's directly upwind from us. Planes flying beautifully. I also have a, an Eagle 16.9 FPV camera on there that I'm going to try out with my head play goggles. And I've got a super wide 2.1 millimeter lens on it so it should be a beautiful big wide 16.9 view. Facing downwind now, turning around into the wind, and I bet the Mobius C will be very, very noisy in the wind, and hopefully the Mobius A will be a lot easier to understand and a lot less ambient noise and more just voice noise. All right, so let's bring it in, and I'll show you some of the other audio solutions. Ha <laughs> ha, very nice, I like it. All right, so another solution, the Zoom H1 recorder. Great little recorder, I use this all the time in my reviews. I can either use it as it is or with an external microphone or I can put a wind muff on it. So I'll just demonstrate all of these methods now. Now we're line in and 
that still will pick up a fair bit of noise I think but the big problem with this line in is that it picks up a lot of interference from the Tyrannus radio you might be able to hear that buzzing and uh, carrying on in the microphone I think so that doesn't work all that well so the best solution I have discovered for this one is to use it like I'm using the the Mobius and I'll show you how to do that one and I've got a little sock this is just some fur that I bought from or my wife bought me from Spotlight a material outlet it's just a little sock put that over like that pretty sure this gives the best sound quality of all the solutions but I mean it's just a bit of a hassle to have this sort of hanging around your, your neck and remember to bring it along so I'll just do a quick flight and swap between these three different solutions here we go taking off we're up and away all right so very noisy environment there's lots of bulldozers and uh, heavy equipment working over there a little bit of wind around it's sort of just eased off a bit at the moment here's the sound of the Bixler going past I wonder what picks that up and the Zoom H1 will be doing a beautiful job of recording voice and not too much else hopefully gosh I love this Bixler this is my favorite plane easily it just flies itself slope soaring thermaling it'll do it all good camera carrier best plane ever I reckon coming in for a crash landing Wee -hee. very good all right so hopefully that demo shows you some audio solutions for recording out in the field I think the easiest and most convenient one is Mimobius A with the external microphone. I can actually use that on a slope soaring slope to record reasonable audio and that's a, that's a real challenge. They're up and flying. Oh lovely wide angle view. Oh gosh. This is very cool. Oh wow, I can see everything. <laughs> Bit of water still in that horse paddock there. Gosh, this is full on. <laughs> there I am there. Hello. Whoosh. Goal posts. How many times have I hit those goal posts? I might go up really high and get a nice high perspective. This complex has about uh, eight to ten footy fields or cricket fields worth of space. Stay away from those good ovals usually because they get used quite a lot. That down there is a small bore rifle club. That's the road, the breakwater road. That's Geelong Bay or Karayo Bay out there with the Yu Yangs in the background. That's a golf course there. That's where all the noise is coming from. That's sort of a council depot of some sort. Dog Obedience Club right there down below. The Barwon River and the industrial complex over there. Geelong to Warrnambool train line. A swampy, reedy area down there where you can lose your plane and never get it back. Heading out towards the township of Marshall out there. Down below was private property, that's sort of like a horse horse stud of sorts, I guess, horse adjustment. That area in the middle there we have access to. It's a good spot if, there's, if this area here is too flooded, which does get flooded, the drainage is terrible. Anyway, I might come back down. Just 
just gliding now. Bit of power. You can lose planes in those reeds very easily and you would never get them out because it's sort of swamp. Motor off, come in for an approach. See if I can glide it all the way from here. I might reach the runway. I might, 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 yeah. Just reach the runway. Very good. That's awesome. Hopefully this demonstrates some good methods for recording audio when it's windy or noisy to improve the quality of your videos because audio is a major feature in video quality. That's all from me. Thanks for watching.